very short introduction. So uh, Tomashin is the village that has been selected in, uh, in our competition to be one of the members of the team of uh, Smart, uh, Smart Rural 21. Uh, just to say very uh, quickly, uh, it has been very clear that Tomashin is the proper candidate for, uh, for uh, this project because it's really uh, high top end of anything that can be done in the subject of, uh, of uh, a new uh, approach to uh, uh, living and uh, pro producing food uh, in, uh, in villages, uh, certainly in Poland, and uh, I'm absolutely convinced that in the rest of Europe. So uh, whatever you're going to see now uh, is exactly what we could expect of a, a European village to uh, to function one of the possible examples and models of function so piotr uh, because i i don't want to take uh, the place uh, of the proper presentation so piotr please do continue hello hello uh, first of all i will just say hello from a team that is with me right here and uh, Asha and Stanislav Hi, hello. and uh, much more people outside uh, because we have a normal working day here in Tomaszyn. Uh, we'll start with a quick introduction. Um, actually, it's a pre premiere. We are preparing a new uh, YouTube show, which is going to be hosted in English this time because all our episodes so far uh, were Polish production and they were basically translated to English sometimes uh, and now we feel that uh, it's time to show our, share our message wider. So today this is basically not finished version of the episode so it's really pre-premiere. It's uh, still not voiced over so you hear my voice in the background but in the future we'll have a professional voiceover and, and the video is going to be edited. So without uh, uh, further uh, uh, way to uh, proceed. Hello, my name is Piotr Stoszewski. I'm a co-founder and author of Ostoja Nature, agricultural production cooperative. Ostoja was born out of the dream of a better life, healthy food, and living in natural environment. It was created by a group of enthusiasts who wanted to ensure their loved ones access to high quality food. Making it a reality requires embracing the whole surrounding environment and businesses, not only the farm itself. Our cooperative was funded in June 2018. It was brought to life by eight founding members. Since then, many valuable people have joined us and the cooperative grew significantly. Today, the team consists of specialists in many areas of life, including farmers, gardeners, managers, architects, lawyers, TV producers, actors, directors, musicians, and many, many more. Together, we are creating the reference regenerative farm model and a smart village. While creating Ostera Ture, we are inspired by nature's already existing solutions. Just as in a prehistoric forest, the circuit is everything. Waste is non-existent. Our goal is to create an ecosystem designed to provide economic efficiency with minimal influence on the environment. The whole story begins in 2019 in Tomasz near Olsztynek, Varmia in Mazur region, where Eres Pelstoja Nature and several members of the cooperative acquired a 50 hectare farmland with a house. The ecological production was launched from the beginning under the management of staff. Hi, my name is Stanislav Suhorski, and I'm responsible for organic food production in Ostoja Nature. Before I joined Cooperative in 2019, for 10 years I was leading my own family organic farm in Western Poland. My area of speciality is organic vegetables and soft fruits. Start production from scratch without the equipment and backup facilities of my family farm was a real challenge. In addition, I had to change my approach and implement organic production on a larger scale than before, on new fields, unknown to me, and with new crops like hemp or old grains. 
In Ostoya, we implement and develop many solutions that I have not dealt with before. Our biggest achievement so far, establishing Ostoya Nariture organic farm and return of agricultural production to Tomasha, including production methods adapted to the soil and climate conditions, a set of technological solutions, development of an optimal machine park and infrastructural solutions, implementing market garden with no deep system, creating Ostoya clay irrigation vessel, creating Ostoya passive, precise, rainwater irrigation system, direct selling platform implementing from farm to port strategy, biohub bazaar, biohub shop, and the biohub internal platform. Passive phone tunnel with the heat exchange technology allowing for year round production, establishing a group of organic and traditional producers, the green five, establishing cooperation with Agricultural Advisory Center, Vanya and Missouri. Joint organization of webinar, ecological farming, a chance for farmers and consumers of the Vanya and Missouri radio. Biotech 2020, conference and launch of knowledge sharing platform with 10 lectures recorded and published. Establishing technological partnerships with Manda, Go Farming, our partner in the field. Abota for Earth for Life, small and medium tractors on our farm. Tunera for Young Farmer, growing under covers. Probiotics Polska for health of the soil, effective microorganisms. Simcomet, our partner in No Deep Garden, bed preparation, the boar. Walczak Pipes, Polish inventor providing geothermal heat exchange and sonic furnace. Paper pot planter, a Japanese technology of planting plants in the chain paper pots. Also Nature TV with more than 50 episodes, including farm gear from the life of Australia Nature, biotech, lectures, and over 15 episodes of Australia Vlog. Tomasin, an Australia Nature among 21 villages in the European Union Smart Rural 21 program. In our opinion, the production of organic food is not enough. A holistic approach that takes into account many elements is needed. Australia brings innovative and fresh ideas to develop further. Okay. So that was our uh, uh, video from uh, Tomasin and from uh, Ostoya, uh, where we do uh, uh, put a lot of attention to uh, uh, ecological production and uh, to making village life again. And for us, making village life again is to creating a ways to produce, to work together, uh, to involve and uh, to do it in the right way. So the other part of uh, our presentation uh, is I will show you a quick, uh, uh, quick. Uh, 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 I will show you a quick um, uh, picture um, uh, presentation of uh, last uh, uh, coming up from last three years, uh, basically from from the beginning. And I will add some commentary, but sometimes the commentary won't uh, be necessary. So let's do it. So this is the route that takes us to Tomasin, to Ostoya, where, where it all started. It was just a, a dying village with uh, uh, three uh, farms. We started uh, meeting each other and uh, talking with people. In 2019, we acquired the house and uh, the place, and immediately we start production. We start meeting with our neighbors, uh, uh, getting other people involved. Uh, some farmers from around Poland that was uh, 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 helping us start coming. We start planning, uh, building the uh, first uh, uh, bed system, 
actually using the land uh, for the first time since uh, 10, 20 years in many cases, the land was left itself. Uh, so we started with a team effort. Uh, we came with uh, our members and um, start building and uh, one by one, our neighbors were joining. It was a lot of work. We, we start cooperating with different uh, uh, innovators, uh, implementing green energy and other solutions that we'll talk in the future, starting the fields uh, as the small production, but also the big production, uh, get, getting our equipment, uh, getting cooperation with uh, Polish and international companies to, to develop uh, new methods of uh, regenerative farming and ecological farming. It was all, most of the time it was a team effort and without a great team, uh, it won't will be possible. So the neighbors, here we have a, uh, here we have our neighbors. There was our neighbors that uh, uh, start coming to our village. These are our farther neighbors from Ostinek. Uh, 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 yes, and the, and the nature uh, was always a, a great balance for us. So yeah, there was a lot of meeting, a lot of working. Uh, this is our Stanislav uh, with his first year's crops. Uh, it's me with uh, our potatoes. Uh, of course, a lot of, lot of work and a lot of tests. Uh, uh, here we can see where we're picking up the potatoes whereby basically whole village was uh, involved and whole village was eating the potatoes next six months. Plus of course the potatoes went uh, for selling as a part of our deal. Uh, the bees came back to Tomasz and one of our first packages that uh, we managed to send to other cities. This is uh, by uh, Miss Halina and the restaurant in Ostynek, which start uh, uh, ordering uh, our foods. First transfer of uh, carrots, uh, 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 first uh, bazaar in Gmina uh, uh, also in our partners. We start uh, producing more and more. Uh, we start showing up on uh, different uh, congresses and meetings. Here you can see our first uh, uh, control for echo um, It's uh, uh, here is uh, actually a uh, uh, Irving Pan Award, and uh, uh, then the story of uh, Grand Heat Exchanges. Uh, so Mr. Valchak uh, and the uh, Polish inventor joined our crew and he decided to help us with uh, getting our passive uh, greenhouse done. This is Mr. Valchak. Uh, uh, and it was a big thing in Ostoya to, to, uh, to start it and now it's working. First edition of Biohub Bazaar in 2019. It was a test in Ostenek if it's possible and uh, the response of the people was uh, really great. A lot of people came, uh, they liked what they saw. So uh, you will see that we will continue. So this is the crew that organized the first bazaar basically all from our region. And uh, um, the same year, I was invited to sustainability from farm to fork uh, conference, the agricultural, agricultural outlook conference, uh, where we presented our ideas. And that was the end of the first year. So in 2020, uh, a lot of things happened. Of course, we started the production from early spring. Uh, on a much bigger scale in cooperation with more of our neighbors. So uh, as you can see, uh, it was not just Ostoya, but uh, really the whole Tomaszyn was uh, getting to know each other and uh, uh, developing stuff. Here's a Vegamat, uh, our machine, uh, which has a great interest uh, of media and we actually have the prototype uh, ready. Uh, so the production was started, uh, you can see the effects and here great cooperation with our neighbors. Our tunnels, the, the, the work of last year ready to be replanted and finish this year, as you can see in these pictures. We did continue, we managed to finish our uh, market uh, garden and growing garden. and. Uh, uh, innovative garden because we do a lot of innovation, the production of Oya uh, and uh, the first uh, bunch of Oya that we tested uh, in our farm be before they were put into uh, sales. And uh, yes, they, they work very well. 
Uh, so you can hear Sistach and our neighbors uh, 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 from uh, uh, Tomashin 1 and Tomashin 6 uh, and Tomashin 10 from uh, uh, our farmers that do help us uh, to work the fields and produce the high quality food. Uh, we also get a lot of help from different producers that we cooperate with. Uh, you can see the tractors, they uh, lend us the tractors to test them from time to time, that's why we are able. Uh, so uh, th this was a very key move where we acquired uh, the, the EU funds and we started Biohub Bazaar uh, on the bigger scale and the target came to be a huge success. Uh, it's existing up to date today, every week. Uh, so uh, our strategy of uh, making, uh, 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 making the product uh, organic farming and geographical indication as a factor of the local development, uh, which was uh, uh, co-developed by our uh, 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 PAN, um, really uh, came to be a great success. So, uh, Academy of Science. Yes, PAN, uh, this is Polish Academy of Science, exactly, I'll be right. So I don't know because I switched something, I have to go back to... Present, uh, to, to slide. Okay, so this is our bazaar uh, last season. It's really, really popular. We added uh, uh, housewives uh, 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 of farmers with, uh, they have this organization. So from different region, we uh, add uh, um, uh, craftsmen from all over uh, region. So we start a larger corporation. Then we organize biotech, the first edition. And the one uh, that started, you can see Aldo here uh, talking about the smart village, our uh, Burmish Oshtynka, the, the head of Oshtynek Gmina, the viewers, they came from all across the Poland. Uh, we did record everything, so all 10 lectures are published. Tadeusz Rolnik, uh, Polish, uh, uh, a famous uh, a farmer for old grain, so it was also a part of uh, XOF, so the operation was uh, uh, supported by EU funds. And uh, that's basically the high season, uh, our uh, uh, farm last year. We did uh, uh, produce a lot and it was great. Our methods came up to be very successful and uh, that actually made farmers want to join more because uh, one thing is talking about the great ideas and the second thing is really making it and making uh, the product and showing that we can. Here is half of the village working with uh, uh, um, the, uh, the beets. Is our village, and uh, we did start automatization, as we are uh, uh, saying all the time. We did start Asian grains last year uh, on the larger scale, with helping of our neighbors again and using their equipment. Uh, here you can see Wojtek, which is uh, one of the farm and his harvester, a very old school harvester, but it did work, and we have a lot of. Uh, great uh, uh, grains now. We also did uh, uh, stuff with hemp. We tested the hemp. It's a, it's a very hard uh, to grow plant and very strong and uh, it needs a lot of technology. So we did a lot of tests with our partners and uh, now we are more ready. We also tested a lot of new machines and we're still trying to optimize everything and getting the best solution, the best ideas. Uh, we start sharing the knowledge. This is me on uh, Bio Expo in Poland. As I said, where we said in the film with all the air, we organize our own webinar and then basically uh, closed the 2020. 2021, so today, uh, a lot of stuff is happening. We started the production very early this year. Uh, uh, we, we, we do a lot of more microgreens and uh, uh, our, we implemented the, our OYAS into a, a system. So now they're not just vessels, but they also have, we also uh, managed to, to, to do a clay irrigation system. So the plants and the, uh, are water through OYAS and the OYAS are field uh, with automated solutions. Uh, okay, it's it's a horse of our neighbor that is visiting often. Uh, so yes, for us uh, uh, living in the uh, uh, village, especially in Poland, is all about agriculture, but we are doing this agriculture a little bit different. And uh, as we said, we are uh, not using any chemistry. 
uh, we're not fighting with the nature, we're helping the nature here as our partner um, uh, with the ecological, uh, uh, not compost, but uh, manure or something like that. Uh, it's a mineral, it's a mineral. So uh, uh, here's our passive precise rainwater irrigation system that is 80% operational. There are the digging of the pipes that connected the roofs, and uh, this is our member that is responsible for whole installation of it. We also start uh, our bees start to uh, multiply nowadays, and uh, now not just us but also our neighbors uh, have a lot of bees, and the bees came return to uh, to Tomash, and, and uh, it's a it's a big thing. That's. Uh, Final control from Echo Varans, uh, allowing us to use the green leaf of Echo and our partners from Mandam and uh, our approach in regenerative agriculture into Martian. Uh, so we don't uh, uh, do like the traditional cultivation, but we don't till the, 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 the ground. So we start uh, making the compost beds. Uh, uh, and with compost beds, uh, we need to make compost, we need to support and uh, uh, produce the best uh, soil to, to grow healthy plants. That's basically the strategy. And again, uh, not just us, but our partners, our neighbors, uh, uh, our members, they were all involved in uh, uh, building the process. It started in April and we are still in the process of making it. You can see in the pictures that uh, step by step, uh, uh, bed by bed, we're getting where we want to get. Uh, so we also use, uh, as we say, in the movie microorganisms. We don't use any chemistry uh, here. Yes, uh, the village is really into. And some of our neighbors, they also copied what we did, and they did also implement the beds. I don't. Unfortunately, the pictures are not already uploaded here. But yes, uh, it's not just Ostoya now. It's uh, it's the other farms in Tomasz too. So yes, this is, that's basically uh, how uh, regenerative agriculture is made uh, in uh, Ostoya and uh, uh, would help a lot of people. Yes, and uh, uh, actually the help is also very important because the people get trained and uh, we get to share the knowledge wider and uh, we can also uh, change different uh, uh, um, ideas and ways to, to fight with different uh, uh, problems. So uh, today, uh, you can see some more pictures. So it was changing and today it looks more like that. And this is the machine. So uh, the last part of, uh, of, uh, of my presentation is uh, to tell you how important uh, regenerative agriculture is and why we are so much stuck into it. Because we really think that this is the way to change the world and this revolution can only be done in the agricultural, agricultural lands. It cannot be started in the cities. So regenerative agriculture is only possible in the villages. It's not possible in the city on the larger scale. Uh, and to show you, so uh, this is a document or I don't know, a, a film about, a very short film about what European Union and what uh, other thing about the regenerative agriculture. So here's the movie. It's no secret that we're running out of time to protect our planet. A new report has highlighted the critical role that soil plays in climate change. There's more carbon stored in soil than in all the world's trees, and it's being released into the atmosphere by deforestation and poor farming. For millennia, we've lived in harmony with nature, but modern agriculture is destroying the very habitat we depend on. Intensive farming releases 30% of all greenhouse gases and erodes 24 billion tonnes of topsoil every year. That's an area the size of Greece. If this goes on, 
we may have just 60 harvests left. But what if the solution lay right beneath our feet? Regenerative agriculture, it restores the natural rhythm of our ecosystem, reviving landscapes for generations to come. The secret lies in the soil. Unlike depleted soils, healthy, organic topsoil retains water, absorbs nutrients, and stores carbon. The idea is simple, just five key principles. Firstly, instead of tilling the soil, we leave it in peace, keeping carbon in the ground and helping microbes to thrive. We keep the ground covered with plants throughout the year to help us protect and build healthy soils. Pesticides and fertilizers can kill important microbes and make crops vulnerable to disease. We lose the chemicals and let nature regulate itself. We create a rich ecosystem of many plants and animals living alongside one another, just as nature intended. And finally, regenerative agriculture looks different in different places, and it's important that we always listen to the land. By working with nature, we can produce more nutritious food, more resilient crops, and less wasted water. What's more, we could stop or even reverse climate change. If the world's soils stored just 0.4% more carbon every year, it could offset all human CO2 emissions. Regenerative agriculture. It gives us the chance to improve food quality, protect farmers' livelihoods, and safeguard the land we depend on. It's a profitable, sustainable system that makes sense for farmers and food lovers alike. So, come and join the regenerative agriculture revolution. Okay, so uh, that's that's it. That's that was the presentation, uh, and uh, we want to show you more why we are so much into regenerative agriculture. That is not easy to really implement it, and uh, the villages is the place to do it. But we need the co-work. I mean, this is not possible. I mean, it's possible to do it on the family level, but it doesn't have so much impact when you do it as a whole village. Then it really changes the scale and uh, possibilities. And uh, it's good for production too, because people love high quality, healthy food, and this is what you get. So you get the connection that the village is a place of uh, innovative, high quality food production. And then I think this is a good uh, way, especially in our country where the villages has been, the, the um, way people look at the villages has changed from uh, high quality farmers to uh, really we don't know who because farmers now uh, with all this chemistry and with all uh, those unethical ways of producing uh, food uh, are not treated and uh, looked upon you know they, they, they are really treated as uh, something that must go on but uh, people don't treat them seriously and uh, I think the one of the biggest impacts uh, that we have on the planet is really in the agriculture and this is basically done in the uh, agriculture areas so th that's where's the biggest way to make change that's and that's why Ostoya and Tomaszem is doing what we are doing here in Poland so uh, that's that's basically su summing up uh, uh, today's uh, entry to discussion. Mm -hmm.